based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. I want to speak with just you. Come in, sit down. I am grieved for the iniquity of my people. Their hearts begin to wax hard. I have asked that you all gather that I might give each of you your charge separately concerning the things pertaining to righteousness. My son, give ear to my words. I swear to you that inasmuch as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. His holy angel made these things known unto me. Alma, why persecutest thou the church of God? Go thy way, and seek to destroy the church no more, even if thou wilt of thyself be cast off. Three nights were thy rack, even with the pains of a damned soul. Alma. But I remembered hearing my father prophesy concerning the coming of one Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to atone for the sins of the world. When my mind got hold upon this thought, I cried within my heart, Oh, Jesus, thou Son of God, have mercy on me. When I thought this, I could remember my pains no more. And oh, what joy and what marvelous light I did behold. My soul was filled with joy as exceeding as was my pain. From that time, even until now, I have labored without ceasing that I might bring souls unto repentance, that they also might be born of God and filled with the Holy Ghost. And the Lord doth give me exceedingly great joy in the fruit of my labors, because of the word which he has imparted unto me. Many have been born of God, therefore they do know of these things of which I have spoken, as I do know. Now, I command you that you take the records which have been entrusted with me, I also command you that you keep a record of this people upon the plates of Nephi, for it is for a wise purpose that they are kept. And these plates of brass have the records of the Holy Scriptures upon them, which have the genealogy of our forefathers. It has been prophesied by our fathers. They should be kept and handed down from one generation to another, and preserved by the hand of the Lord, until they shall go forth unto every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, that they shall know of the mysteries contained thereon. And now, if they are kept, they must retain their brightness. I understand. By small and simple things are great things brought to pass. Small means in many instances that confound the wise. These records and their words brought this people unto repentance. They brought them to the knowledge of the Lord their God and to rejoice in Jesus Christ, their Redeemer. And who knoweth but what they will be the means of bringing many thousands to the knowledge of their Redeemer. Now these mysteries are not yet fully made known unto me, therefore I shall forbear. Remember, my son, and learn wisdom in thy youth to keep the commandments of God. 
counsel with the Lord in all thy doings, and he will direct thee for good. And if you do these things, ye shall be lifted up at the last day. Now, my son, I have somewhat to say concerning the thing which our fathers called the Liahona, or compass. It was prepared to show unto our fathers the course which they should travel in the wilderness, and it had worked for them according to their faith in God. If they had faith to believe that God could cause that those spindles should point the direction they should go, it was done. Therefore they had this miracle and also many other miracles wrought by the power of God day by day. Nevertheless, because those miracles were worked by small means, they forgot to exercise their faith and diligence, and then those marvelous works ceased, and they did not progress in their journey. Just as surely as this director did bring our fathers to the promised land, shall the words of Christ, if we follow their course, carry us beyond this veil of sorrow to a far better land of promise. See that you take care of these sacred things. See that you look to God and live. Go unto this people and declare the word and be sober. I will, Father. <laughs> 